We showed you Alex Jones, he's a lunatic, right? Well, we're not done yet. There's another Republican lunatic, another conservative lunatic, I should say. It's Michael Savage. Now, this is one of the top three most listened to radio hosts. Now, look, all the radio numbers are fictional. Their, their rating system is insane. Nobody really tracks it. And they don't even track it nationwide. They track it city by city. And even those numbers are made up. So is Michael Savage really the third most listened to talk show host? Maybe, maybe not. But significant enough people watch him in city by city that he gets decent enough ratings that he continues and gets advertisers, etc. Right? And, and obviously this message resonates with some people. Well, he thinks the Tea Party is too soft. They need to get a little more right wing. But listen to how he says they should get a little tougher. Listen carefully to the words. Uh, yes, we need a nationalist party in the United States of America. You have the rudiments of a new party in this country called the Tea Party. They need to restructure their party. They need a charismatic leader, which they don't have. <clears throat> there is no Republican Party. There, it's an appendage of the Democrat machine. You've got the uh, drunk Boehner on one side and the uh, quasi pseudo crypto Marxist on the other who's really just enjoying the ride in <laughs> Hawaii right now. Okay. A nationalist party with a charismatic leader? I believe we had that in the 1930s in Germany. They were literally the Nationalist Party with a charismatic leader. Who says that? Like, is he using code words like, hey, let's restart the Nazis? Or is he that ignorant, not realizing that that's what the Nazis were called? And that they kept calling for a charismatic leader and got somebody like Adolf Hitler? That's insanity, man. And look, the Tea Party is down to 8% in this country. They just did a poll on it. Uh, and only 8% of the country identify themselves as Tea Party. But he says, that's because they haven't gone right wing enough. If you go further right wing, then you'll be down to like 4%, but that'll be the best 4% in the country, and then we can do a nationalist takeover, yes! Man, just when you think you've hit the bottom of the crazy barrel, you get somebody like Michael Savage. So the other part of this is Obama's a quasi pseudo crypto Marxist. <laughs> Obama who just made 99% of the Bush tax cuts permanent. Obama that never put any of the bankers in jail. Obama that gave trillions of dollars through the Fed and the Treasury to the bankers. Obama that did all these, in the last fiscal cliff deal, there's 68 billion dollars of favors for the corporations in America. Is a Marxist? And they love to make up words. What's a, what's a pseudo quasi crypto Marxist? What the hell are you talking about? And that's because, like Alex Jones, Michael Savage is a full blown lunatic. He has mental issues, needs to be on some sort of medication, and perhaps institutionalized. Instead, he does his radio show, and a lot of people listen to him and go, oh, yeah, man, nailed it. Pseudo crypto Marxist communist Maoist. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, man, this whole movement is insane. And now they're talking about resurgence of a nationalist party with a charismatic leader. That is insane squared. Alex Jones right now drawing that up on his chalkboard at home. And then insane squared is Mao, but then is Obama, but then is us. What? Okay. By the way, the guy who actually draws on a chalkboard, Glenn Beck. <laughs> and by the way, Alex Jones went so cr far, I just saw on the internet that Glenn Beck is saying that Alex Jones is a conspiracy to show people who are in favor of guns are crazy. Man, <laughs> that just made my mind explode. Can you imagine if Alex Jones is the conspiracy? Savage, Beck, Jones, pick him. I have no idea who's crazier.